I feel like it's kind of been normal. Um, losses are going to happen. We're not a perfect team. And I'd rather lose now than to lose um, in the next few weeks here. So uh, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. So um, we're just going to keep rolling and keep working from here on out. But um, I think we're in a really good spot just coming off of that. And I would watch out for who's going to play us next. They just kind of tell us what went wrong in the game and how we need to bounce back from that. And there's always something that we can learn from, even from a win or a loss. So we're just, they're just continuing to grind us and um, put us in a good spot for this weekend. So yeah, we're just back to the chalkboard. Like I said, we're not a perfect team, you know, and up until that point, we were 39 and 0 and we still won the series. So, I mean, yeah, it hurt a little bit, but like you learn from uh you learn from everything and you just continue to work hard and get better and just um see what it is that you can work on and make sure that it's perfect the next time so that it doesn't happen but no no hard feelings at all it a loss is a loss and good teams are going to have losses but it's how you bounce back i would say definitely to play free what you've done uh all up until this whole season, up until this point, doesn't really matter because it's a whole new ball game and anyone can turn it on at any time. So it doesn't really matter what you did all season, um, but just playing free and not really thinking too much about what's going to happen, just going with it. it. Was it hard for you as a player? Is it hard for younger players to understand that? Um, I would say it's hard for young, younger players who have already had one season under the belt. So like that sophomore year, um, just because they know what they've done before and they try to match that. And I know I fell into that. A um, couple other of these girls have fell into it, fallen into it, but um, they know how to bounce back out of it and snap back out of it. So yeah, it's just a whole new ball game right now. Just taking it um, game by game, pitch by pitch, just definitely trying to stay within the moment. But, um, yeah, it's kind of bittersweet that it is my last one, but I'm going to leave it all out on the field and know that I'm not going to have a single ounce of regret after I leave this game, college game. Just as far as me and NIL deals, as far as where I'm at right now in my career, I feel like I'm at the pinnacle of my career. So I would compare myself to QB1, maybe even a little bit higher, just with what I've done. And um, the things that I've done, it's pretty hard to come by. So I would say I'm a little bit bigger than I would say most Sooner athletes here. But um, just me being a woman, I want people that do those NIL deals and do all these stuffs with other male athletes to recognize that women are just as capable because we have people like me, we have people like Jada Coleman, people like Montana Fouts, you know, that are at the top of their game right now and they're not getting what it is that I feel like they deserve as far as NIL. And then I just feel like they always will look to male athletes, which just kind of isn't the way, um, I, just, I just don't think it's right, but yeah, I'm going to continue to advocate for women's sports as much as I can. And um, even after I'm done, I'll continue to advocate for them. But how the Fowler deal came about was just, I had to message them and I was like, hey, would love to do an NIL deal and told them who I was and they knew who I was. So that was a good thing. But yeah, just kind of went on from there and now my family doesn't have to rent a car whenever they come here and um we all don't have to smush into my old little Kia Soul so it's nice <laughs> um I know obviously that deal or any NIL deal is important to the individual athlete but do you I'm sure you're around some of the guys on campus that have NIL and obviously around some of the the gals on campus that do do you get the sense like it means maybe a little bit more to the women because of some of those impacts in, in that broader scope of women's sports? Oh, for sure. Like some of the deals that I've heard that male athletes have gotten, I'm like, who are you? Like, what have you done? 
you know, and then there's people like Maggie Nichols and there's the tennis team who's second in the nation. Like, why isn't that being talked about enough? I don't, I don't get it. You know, it's just stuff like that because we put in just as much hours. We put in just as much hard work, but we have to work twice as hard for the recognition that we deserve. And I don't, I just, I just feel like we put in too much for us to not get that recognition. They're sleeping with me, but um, I have this little back room and then my grandma's on an air mattress in the living room. So it's just, there's people everywhere, but I had to tell my dad last weekend that I need a hotel. I need you guys to get a hotel because I just need to focus and I wouldn't have the guts to tell my dad that before, but I have the guts to tell him it now. So um, I just recognize whenever I don't feel on my game, I, I'm a really big homebody. I like to be quiet. I don't like to talk. I don't like to really hear stuff. I just like to lay in my bed and chill when I'm at home. And yeah, there's just a lot of people in my space, basically. So they're on their way <clears throat> out right now, huh? Yeah, my dad will be back. Thursday and then um, I don't think my mom or my sisters will be coming they're still finishing school but yeah grandparents were out here last weekend and yeah that's all I only have three people this weekend but yeah I definitely do my homework for sure just as far as game plan approach and mindset and as far as actually being in the box it's not really about thinking I would say, but I know I have a good idea about what the pitcher is going to do and certain counts because I do a lot of homework. So I, I think about it as going into a test very prepared and ready to go and ace the exam. And I guess I'd also like to ask, do, do teammates or just maybe, you know, younger players than that approach you for hitting tips? Is there anything you, you tell them consistently? Um. Yeah, they do. They started talking to me a lot more as they got to know me because I feel like the younger ones just kind of thought I was just this grumpy old lady. But um, no, they started to approach me and um, now we've built that relationship now and I see certain things in their swings and I'll tell them little stuff like that and um, they'll just take it and just kind of run with it. But they know they can always talk to me even even when I'm not here. So um, yeah, they've we've built that relationship and that bond and they can come to me whenever. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.